Okay, I want to talk about the Christmas video. I have never seen The Hunger Games, but I know when I first saw this video, I immediately knew something was obviously off. Hunger Games. Okay, let me read what it is exactly. In what was once North America, the capital of I don't know what that is. Panem maintains its hold on its 12 districts by forcing them each to select a boy and a girl called Tributes to compete in a nationally televised event called the Hunger Games. Every citizen must watch as the youths fight to death until only one remains. District 12 Tribute Katniss Everdeen has little to rely on other than her hunting skills and sharp instincts in an arena where she must weigh survival against love. Okay. Um, let me see what the heck. I'm going to do this quick because I don't really want to be in this. Funery long. So let me go back. Give me a quick. What's this about? Turn the sound down so I can watch it. What is this about? What is this about? First, I want to ask. Are they filming in the place that they said they are? Yes. Okay. With the bell ringing, awareness is something. Okay. Memorabilia in the bottom. What is this about? Negotiation. Interesting. Memorabilia. Stamp collector, tourist shop, historic event, family photos, movie poster, memento, toys, postcards, souvenir, antique, signed photo, sentimentality, newspaper, cuttings, hoarder. Um, statues, artwork, statues. Negotiation, summit, contract, diplomacy. So they're sending messages through this. There's messages. Okay, like for instance, right now I'm looking and I see one, two, three, four, five, five, ten candy canes, which there probably are more, but that's telling you how much we're willing to give. And then there's, let's say, eight dancers. That means look at the eighth state in the Constitution uh, and then there's different cultures and then so there's messages being colors that they're wearing um, so what's the negotiation summit contract diplomacy divorce CEO pros and cons extortion law offices haggle talent agency merger peace stock exchange free market, big business, hostage crisis. Hmm. So they're either talking it's talking about the stock market or the hostages in there. Different wars. Alright, what is this about? What is this about? Sure. Sure. So they could be communicating with a company, sublim and um, company in Ireland. Between, within, partly. Uh, 
let me do this really quick because I don't want to be in this. Alright, let me get one of these. What am I looking at? What is this about? What am I looking at? What is this about? Generosity. Giving. Okay. We're going to offer you... 12 million candy canes. You get a candy cane, and you get a candy cane, and you get a dancer with a rose on their head, and you get a masked person. Okay, let's see. Generosity as a high-minded act symbolizes the human virtue of liberality. It is associated to the planet Jupiter, the letter R, and the number three. It represents the principle of abnegation, resourcing, renouncing, rejecting something, renouncing or rejecting something, self-denial. Quote is, fruits pleasant to the palate, so sweet when receiving or giving them. As an element of prediction, it promises alms, money, or food given to poor people satisfactory definitions in the end rewards inheritances without death acquisition of wealth and stable fortune this christmas message just took a whole turn okay let's see three cards and then i'm on again one what am i looking at two What am I looking at? And three. Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. No soul, no <laughs> And the Fool, taking a rest. Sun, man, I hate to say it, but cockfight, 19, 1, beginning, ending, beginning, negotiations about some kind of island? Oh, I guess I will clarify. Ten of Swords. Uh, let me go here. Ten of Swords. Here is empathy. So this is, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting... No insides, no heart, no soul. Becoming, becoming. Um, ten of Swords. Right, yeah. What's this about? I'll get one of those. Ten of Swords. What am I watching? The sun. The man. A cockfight. A negotiation, an island, the rooster, um, where are you? The rooster speaks of a Virgo. The rooster symbolizes organization or schedules, shows a need to organize oneself. Keeping schedules and managing time is also advised. If drawn in a love relationship, it shows the need to make time for your partner. Drawn in a work reading, it shows the need to manage time effectively. Could be the Virgo or the rooster in the Chinese zodiac. Cockfight. Cockfight. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. What's this about? And then I'll get a sticker for each one. Nine of Pentacles. The heart signifies great joy when near. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, back and forth, about a land, community, neighborhood, group, church versus state, um, donations to Donations 
patients to those that are suffering and then the fool uh, nine of pentacles again here grit and three of pentacles patience the fool with the seven of wands valor valor Hunger Games. Who's going to get the money? Who's going to get the donation? Whose country is going to benefit? This is a negotiation. Whatever this weird Christmas video is. Okay. Three stickers. I'm getting the heck out of here. People all. If they are people. Alright. Ten of Swords with the Sun. Trade. Yes, somebody got betrayed. Ten of Swords with the Sun. Let me go back to this. What is this about? Ten of Swords with the Sun. Okay. Potion. To make people hot. Betraying men. And a car. Moving forward, commerce. Making men feel less like men. Making men feel like memorabilia. Making men feel like baseball cards. Trying to get rid of the idea of the manly men. That's the betrayal here. Kind of like if you look at this video and somebody's like, honey, I want to decorate my house like this. And would be like, where's, where's my ideas? Where's, where am I supposed to live? How am I supposed to live in a pink bedroom with balls and houses and whatever. I saw something flip. Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. <laughs> they think we're dumb. <laughs> the fool again. Um, nine of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, I kind of saw that. Let's see if it ends up in my hands. The fool again. Stay single. Don't date men. Unite with spirituality or the Lord, or have no, throw your morals and values out the window. Live freely, live vicariously, do whatever you want. A lot of yellow here. Women are in charge, is that why that actor came out with that weird video this week? What would happen if women, women rule the world? Ooh. Becoming. Is that what that says? I'm done. Ooh. Becoming. Novelty. Trust. New beginnings. Unlimited potential. Spontaneity. Innocence. Curiosity. Open mindedness. Yeah, keep an open mind. Don't worry about the Bible. Don't worry about. Yeah, exactly. Was this your plan all along? What is he saying? Alice something. Was this your plan all along? And something about an Aries. Firstborn. First in line. Self. Also, the fool. Don't worry about doing good for fellow man. Do for yourself. Follow your own selfish wants, needs, and desires. Don't worry about sin. Don't worry about the church. Don't worry about who you betray. Is this a, is this a message to men? A fool, seven of wands. Stand your ground about somebody thinking you're dumb.
don't even, I mean, I just happen to come across it on YouTube, but people that are actually watching TV and watching this nonsense, that's the sad part, I just flipped. Hmm. I'm coming to get your children. People don't even see it. What's this? Exactly. We're coming to get your children. Tag, you're it. What does that say? Hobbies and games. This is ridiculous. And the fool. This, yeah, this is a gay agenda thing. Sorry, nothing wrong with gay, bisexuality, any of that stuff. But when you stop shoving it down children's throats and sending subliminal messaging, I have a problem. I'm going to get one of these and end this. Let the child get 18 and pick what it wants to. But if you're flooding the movies and the TV shows and the fashions and the music and the rumors and the um, radio stations and the characters and if you're doing all this flooding it with the rainbow agenda then what should we expect our children to think when they turn up a certain age what's going on in this let me look at the video before i pull this card what's going on in this madness the twins interesting fell when Jim and I came on the board. I don't know how that's significant. Alright, let's see. Aries fell when Jim and I came on the board. Um, the twins. Where's the book? So it's a double sworded agenda having to do with the twins. Mercury communication. Getting a point across. Getting a message out pushing an agenda. The twins. The twins. A quiet courtyard. So, self-protection, dual natures. The quiet courtyard, the soft murmur of a nearby tea shop, the call of songbirds, and a blazing argument shattering the peace. The twins were born at the same time, but they couldn't be more different. The first, a dreamer, charming and surrounded by friends, the other more worldly, but dogged by life's injustices and feelings of inadequacy. That's what they're trying to push. Don't worry about being a manly man. Don't worry about being the flame. Go do what you want because we're pushing so much. We're pushing an agenda and tricking you into thinking this is what you want. Each twin feels the pressure to measure up to their sibling, but that pressure is entirely internal. Neither is judging the other, only themselves. This card relates to a specific relationship in your life. You and the other person are bound together, but past traumas are blocking your ability to make this a harmonious relationship. Be kind and take time to reassess your behavior. Are you really being fair to the other person? How are you continuing old habits or resentments? There is kindness in acknowledging that we're all human. Most of us. Again, um, so this is some kind of agenda for your kids. It's a dual nature. It's um, kill two birds with one stone. That's why they put this message out. These people 
don't have heart, soul, organs, whatever. Um, so they don't know what it's like and they want to... I don't know if this is to... This is all alleged and speculation. My thoughts only what I see. How I see things. Um, get rid of humanity or lessen humanity or lessen the male's role in humanity but you need the yin and the yang. What was that? Cows can't give you milk and chickens can't give you steak, something like that. Alright, let me see if I can get one quote on this. Universe, what would you say with this 2P video that they ain't fooling me with? What would you say? I don't know why I keep getting them all. So is this part consumerism and part rainbow agenda? Keep getting them all. I want to quote, please. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Love it. Ignorance is expensive. Beautiful. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you.